Welcome to Summoned Awesome Games, Future Islanders. I hope if you're an Animal Crossing fan, you'll subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends as well. Come on, let's get let's get some peeps up in here. Like today's video. If you don't like it, that's fine. That's okay. I'm sorry. I'm trying, man. But today we're going to look at the back of the Animal Crossing Edition Nintendo Switch console and see what kind of secrets we can find within its little images. So we'll start, we'll do it like a book. We'll go from left to right, from top to bottom. And we'll start off with this little island here. There's trees and plants and rocks and what kind of looks like gems. Obviously these squiggly lines are the water. No surprise there. Balloons. Balloons are a common thing in Animal Crossing, right? They usually have presents. This one doesn't have a present. This is just an environmental impact being floating around in the sky about to ruin some kind of sea life's day. What's going on Animal Crossing? Where there's presents at? At least I'll pop this with my slingshot and I get nothing? Come on. Then over here we have an island with what looks like Ellie and Rosie chilling out. Little camp tent going on there. Some fences they put up. Some little flowers around. So let's let's have a look at these. We've got a butterfly as well. So we can see that there's going to be pansies, roses, Tulips, it kind of looks like a tulip still growing there. Jumping across from this island, we're gonna go down the bottom here. That kind of looks like it could be a lily or a violet. I wanna say a violet, most likely, because we have up the top here, a Jacob's Ladder, which you used to get if you had a perfect town, they'd pop up like weeds and everyone liked them, so that was nice. And then we got a Cosmos on this island over here. So that's all the flowers we're showing. The only one I don't think we've seen is uh, the lilies or violets. Depends what that one down the bottom is. But while we're on this island with money, we can see some new brick paths. We know brick paths have been shown in other images. Some trees and fruit trees, some furniture. Jumping over here, there's a shark in the water. What, what? So we all know you can go fishing for sharks and add them to your museum in old games. So that's most likely what's going on here. I don't think you're gonna get munched by a shark while you're swimming around or whatever. Nice little island here. Very foresty looking. We got a little lumberjack mouse going to town, chopping down things, making logs. Got a birdhouse, woodworking, mushrooms are there. And then near this island is I think the most interesting details. We have a boat, probably Cap'n's boat. I don't know, maybe you get to sail around in your own boat. We know that travel to other islands is most likely gonna be through Dodo Airlines since they're the first feature on your island and that's how you'll probably travel to other people's islands multiplayer wise but then Cap'n, that puts Cap'n out of a job right? or does it put the train out of a job and Cap'n's still there to take you to other islands? I, I don't know because it's, what does he do? You got a, you got a seaplane, a seaplane can take you anywhere that the boat could so we'll see what the boat's for but just as interesting as the boat we got a bit of old school, wild world city folk here. Letters in a bottle, notes in a bottle, messages in a bottle, whatever you want to call it, paper in a bottle. Uh, maybe they're going to adopt some form of Wind Waker style thing where you could write a little note, chuck it in a bottle, and it would show up in other players' games. Wouldn't that be something interesting? That way you can go down the beach, maybe you're driving the boat or whatever, pick up a bottle in the water and be like, oh cool, someone wrote gobbledygook to me. Wow, that's very informative. Down the bottom we can see that it's snowing on this island. Uh, I'm sure these islands all represent other players' islands in the world. We're playing in different times of the day, different seasons and whatnot. So this one is a snow one. We've got the snowman's back. He's got an actual house. So this guy's doing pretty well for himself. And a bunch of snowflakes floating around. Then we go across by what looks like a clownfish. And looks like Nemo and Dory to me. It looks like a clownfish and a blue tang chilling out there together. Way to, way to play it up to Pixar fans. Then we've got this island, all right? This is the island uh, that has a lighthouse, okay? And is very tropical looking. It's got brick parts. It's got shells everywhere. It's a very beachy feel. Could this be a player island? Or is this where Cap'n would take you like he would in other games to the tropical island? Go on a bit of GameCube style here. It's nothing but beach life. And that's where the lighthouse would live. Maybe, possibly, potentially, who knows? We got some coral up here, a whale tail, what, what, why, we, we can't catch whales, can we? Are we going to be able to see whales? Why, why are there whales? What, what do you think? Why, I want to, this is the one that I want to know. Comment below, what's the deal with the whales? And let me know how you think bottles will work, because that's pretty much it. Besides that, we got fauna over here, chilling by a fire in a hammock, with some twigs, some flowers and stuff. 
Uh, that's it. That's all we can really see. I don't see much secret stuff in here. Down the very bottom, we can see a very teeny tiny little thing here. Some form of deep sea creature, maybe a shrimp or a sea angel slug type thing. I don't know. I'm not sure about this one, but that's it. There's the back of the console. You can pause the screen. I've had it on the whole time so you can have a look at it in detail and see if there's anything that my little fat eyeballs could not see. Anything really sneaky and secret. Maybe some creepy faces made out of all the little dots and stuff. Maybe some Mickey Mouse ears. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they're up to. We're waiting. We're desperate. I'm sure next week is going to be a Nintendo Direct for Animal Crossing. Mark my words. And if it doesn't happen, pretend I didn't say nothing. Thank you for watching.